Welcome to Dan's Crypto Adventures. Thank you for watching this video. A few months back, probably about six months ago, I built this rig here, my first mining rig. Um, I have some experience building computers, but never built a mining rig, never done any mining at all, and I decided to build it. Uh, a few weeks ago, I decided to completely take that apart and put together this video showing you guys how to build this. So today's video is gonna be about the frame, and I'm not gonna get into any of the components today. It's just gonna be putting the frame together to support six GPUs. So enjoy. Don't forget to punch subscribe at the bottom and also give me a like. Uh, down below this video in the comments, there's also uh, some Amazon links to some of the components that you see here in this computer. Uh, feel free to follow those links. Um, it uh, does not cost you anything additional, but it does help me out and uh, will improve this channel. Hey, we're gonna be putting together a mining rig, the frame part of it. Uh, this rig was actually already put together, but I decided to make a video, so I totally took it apart, and uh, now we're going to put it back together. So that's why some things are already drilled like this. Uh, but the concept's the same. Today we're just going to put together the frame, and then I'll make another video of putting all the components back into it. So the first thing is what's used. I use metal angle iron. Uh, this is uh, purchased at just a home uh, supply house locally. Um, you could buy this Home Depot, Lowe's, any place like that would carry this in stock. Um, I'll put in the description what material it is. I have it right here. <clears throat> it is one inch by one inch, one and a sixteenth inch thick angle piece. So that's what we're going to use for everything. We're also going to use self-drilling screws. These are number eights, three quarters of an inch long. Again, you can get these at any home improvement store would carry this in stock. The different lengths I have, these long pieces right here are 20 inches long. There is four of those, and those are going to be the front rails, the back rail, uh, top and bottom, to bottom and the top. And then we also have uh, these members here that go front to back at the bottom level and also the top going front to back. And they are 15 inches long, and we need four of those as well. And then the other pieces we need, we need uh, four of these. These are 13 inches, and these uh, go up and down. So those are the front corners and the back corners, and they go up uh, to make the frame. This wood here is going to be for the base. This is what the motherboard and power supply is going to sit on. So that's something we're going to need at the end. So right now, we can start putting together the frame. You can pre-drill the holes. You could also use... Uh, the self-drilling screws, you could also use rivets. Uh, there's quite a few options here. Uh, for me, the self-drilling screws are the easiest, so that is what I am going to use. Now, once I get these all cut, one thing I like to do is use a file to file down the edges. Uh, this middle can be very sharp, quite easy to cut yourself. So I always go around and file down all the edges real quick. Only takes a couple of minutes, and it will save your fingers later on. So now we have the base of our frame put together, so this will be the bottom. These slats will eventually go in here like this with the main board sitting here and our power supplies mounted on top. But we're not going to put those in there quite yet. Next thing is the vertical pieces. These are the pieces that are going to be in the corners going up to support the upper half of the frame.
And there we have the next step done. So there we have it. Now we just need to put on the top pieces to go around. Like so, to complete out the base part of the frame. And there you have it, the almost fully assembled frame. There it is. Now we just need to add the slats to the bottom. And then we need to add a support mid height here for the graphics card to rest on. All right, so now we've got the main part of the frame together. We have these slats that we need to install. Now, important thing for these is you want it to line up with your motherboard. The motherboard has certain holes, the screw goes through, you want to make sure you have a slat, a piece of wood under each line of screws. Usually they're in lines and so one piece uh, will fit it. In this case I'll have three pieces of wood under the motherboard and then two pieces on this side that will um, the, power, the power supply will sit on. So get all this lined up, screw it together, then I can install the motherboard. Now you do want to bring over your components from time to time if you need to and just make sure everything's going to fit properly. Last thing you want to do is attach everything and have it not fit. So this will fit. I'll spin that around. So this will fit just fine right there, exactly how we need it, so I can secure the last plate at the bottom. Now you may have noticed I decided to take the top off to make applying the slats easier. So now I've got all the slats in place, motherboard lined up, power supply ready to go, uh, locations for those items ready to go. Now I can stick them on the upper part of the frame and reattach it. So there we go, we got the base part of the frame put together. The only piece that is missing is the support mid-center here to support the graphics cards. Now some people don't mind leaving those hanging, just doing the board across the back for it to sit on. I prefer to secure everything down. One of my goals with these frames is that I could easily pick it up and carry it around. What I generally do is build a frame down here in the basement, put it together, uh, test it out, let it run for a few days, then I take it to my attic where it's far less, um, far less dust and, and things to disturb it up there. Um, but I need to be able to carry it. So I like everything secured. I don't even need to get it. I stick it up in the rafters in my attic, so it's just totally out of the way. It uh, doesn't bother anybody. But to get it up there, I've got to you know, maneuver it up between the joists. So it needs to be strong and ready to go to be able to do that. So now let's work on installing those center posts piece is going to be going along, along the center here to support the graphics card. So what I've done is cut pieces of the angle aluminum uh, 12 and 3 quarters inches long. And so I'll mount one on each side like so and the one on the other side and then there'll be a piece of wood that will run across here that the graphics parts will sit on and that the risers will plug in will screw down into. 
Now to me this is one of the trickier things. You've got to get this lined up just right so that's the correct height. Great, so now we got the metal pieces on the sides here. We have a wood slat. This is just a one by two. Uh, 20 inches long, so whatever the outside of the metal, the outside of the metal is what you want to make it. We're just going to set that in place for now, get it about where we want it, and then with our graphics card with a riser attached, we're going to set it in place to try to get every, make sure we get it lined up properly. So I don't know if you can tell on the camera here, but in this case this piece of wood is too low. So what we're going to do is use a shim to get it under here to try to get it lined up correctly. So we're not worried about the other side at this point. Right now we're trying to get this piece of wood on this side lined up. We want the wood to be lined up with the holes and the screw holes in the riser. So I have a GPU here with the riser attached to it. And we're just going to set that in place, try to get it, make sure everything's lined up and looks good. Um, I prefer to screw down the riser to this piece of wood so that it better secures it so if you carry the frame around you don't want anything flopping around. Um, so I think everything looks like it's where I want it to be. So I think I'm ready to go ahead and attach this piece of wood. Alright, so I got this last piece of wood here installed. So if we mount our graphics cards, they fit in there nicely, fit in there perfectly. And we can fit six of those in this rig here. So again, the last one would be over here. So now it is ready to put together. So thank you for watching this video. Um, I am do not claim to be an expert. I just like showing the videos uh, on what I have done and what works for me. So please don't take this as a guarantee that you're going to make money or this is going to work. But it works for me and it works well. So thank you for watching.